what's red and wild and mmm, so juicy and tasty? <laughs> well, let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. <laughs> Hey, hello, welcome back. So, today is Chinese New Year and it is the Year of the Rabbit. Uh, however, this is a nature wildlife channel but we do not actually have any wild rabbits or hares in Singapore. But in honour of them, we have to think, what do rabbits actually like to do? They like to eat plants, right? And then it's Chinese New Year and everything around us is red. And we ourselves also, we keep eating and eating and eating. So today, we are going to find some red edible plants that you can find growing in the wild all around Singapore. So even though we do not have any wild rabbits, maybe we ourselves can be the rabbits for this episode. So if you're ready, let's go! So if you have ever walked along any Singaporean street before, you'll definitely recognise the first plant because it is the Ixora flower. And these plants grow all around Singapore. So these plants aren't just pretty because they actually have a secret treat inside of them. And what I remember doing as a kid is that if you pull out this thin stick in the middle called the style, you'll see a small droplet of liquid and that's nectar which we could suck on. So nectar is present in plants that are pollinated by animals like your insects, like butterflies or even small species of birds. And all of these animals will actually help in the plant reproduction. But it's a win-win because nectar is actually very valuable for animals because nectar provides sugar, which means energy for these animals. And okay, yes, there definitely isn't enough sugar inside these flowers to give us energy, but that didn't stop this boy and uh, many children before and after me from enjoying this roadside treat. Okay, let's go find other plants. Let's go. Oh, 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 look here, look here. Okay, this here is very red and very hot, and this is the hibiscus flower. So if you're following some of our candidates during the 2020 general election, uh, you may have stumbled across a video of our XMP Hypebeast Akong, uh, Dr. Tan Cheng Bok, eating a hibiscus flower straight off his plant. And that's right because hibiscus flowers are indeed edible. And they're actually very beneficial for your health too, with it apparently being very high in antioxidants and vitamins, and hearsay, hearsay, uh, it can even help to reduce blood pressure. So people usually use them for teas, but you can actually find them in jams or ice creams uh, and even in cooking too. But you can actually just be like Dr. Tan and eat it straight off the stem. Hey, okay, jokes aside, although the first two plants were pretty expected for this list, for our third and final red edible plant, let's meet the Rukam Masam, or also known as the Lobi Lobi. So this is a plant you can find pretty commonly in the parks and street sites of Singapore and you can recognise them by their young bright red leaves. But these are not the parts that you can eat because what we are looking for are... Ta-ding! They are berries! So these cute little fellas look like plums uh, and that's why in some places they call it the governor's plum or the Indian plum. And when eaten raw, it usually has this sharp sour taste so it's not recommended to eat it as is. And, uh, but these fruits can be processed with sugar to make really good gems. And that's why you can actually find a lot of videos of local foragers talking about this berry. Okay, but that being said, I'm not asking you to go and pluck all of these fruits and all of these flowers and to eat everything up. Because yes, although I did mention that there is indeed a small group of local foragers in Singapore, plucking our plants, especially in our nature reserves, is actually illegal and I do not recommend it at all. Furthermore, it's important for people to know that as much as there are edible plants around, there are lots of poisonous and toxic ones too. Like the dumb cane, for example, which I remember seeing more around when I was a kid. But yeah, there are actually many documented cases of children getting very sick after biting on dumb cane leaves. Uh, and then we also have our frangy pennies and also the red-coloured jatropha plants that grow all around our neighbourhood. And both of these have very poisonous white sap that will be secreted when you start plucking on their leaves and flowers. 
And this is why education is so important, right? Because even though we tell them not to, kids like to put their fingers in their mouths uh, even though they have touched this weird white sap. And as much as I want to dedicate this video to edible wild plants, it is not always wise to just take things off the roadside and to put it into your mouth and to eat it, right? Especially without the supervision of someone who actually knows what plant is what. But I think it's super cool to know that all of these edible plants are all around us, right? Like, it's even more than what we covered the first time. And who knows, this skill might come in handy one day. But till then, let's all just enjoy our pineapple tarts for now, uh, huh? because it's Chinese New Year. And uh, here at Little Red Jungle, we really want to wish you the happiest and healthiest of Chinese New Year. And this marks the end of today's video. But before we leave, I'd like to give a big shout out to our patrons. Mr. Chu, Mr. Chu, Spot Match, Juno, No, 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 England, Hitcher, Queen, Limpets, Muffin, Nanana, Selma, Jelly, Jets, Kappa, A, Five, Pingu, Master, Jablock, Tango, Amal, Dilon, Neko, Sama, Uncle, Sam, Amelia, Justin, Leland, Uncle, Keong, Cookie, Spider, Lo, Eli, Big Three Circles, Amy, Amy, Stacey, and Lul! Thank you for supporting this channel directly, and if you would like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. Do also follow me on all my other social media platforms, and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. Thanks again for watching, and remember, keep your eyes peeled! Like how you will peel your mandarin oranges today, oh ho ho, what a bye bye.